Good morning, welcome to Fundamental 165. Fundamental 165. Um, today we're going to talk about something that I actually don't know that much about, but it's a it's a fun little philosophical question I learned about when I was a kid. All right. Yeah. So the the question is: Are all numbers positive, negative, or zero? What do you think? Yes. Okay. So we should be able to, for any number we have, draw a number line, put zero on it, and say, is this number positive or negative? All right. So what about if I said Here's a number, seven. Is that positive, negative, or zero? It's positive. Okay, what about, what about negative 9.3? That would be negative. Okay. What about pi? That would be positive. Okay, all right, so here's gonna be an interesting question. We know that pi is approximately, what, 3.1415, do you know any more than that? 3.1415. Okay, stop. <laughs> Nine, two, six, five, da, da, da. Okay. So we're gonna do something neat. We're gonna take some digit of pi, so let's say the one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll take the sixth digit. And we're gonna do two things. If it's odd, truncate. What's that? Just round it, just stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if it's odd, we're just gonna stop and erase all the digits after that, okay? And if it's even, round up. Um, round up the digit before. Okay, so we're going we're to go to the sixth digit, we're going to round up, if it's odd, or sorry, if it's even, and if it's odd, we're just going to truncate, we're going to stop the number there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is an even number, so we're going to round up the prior digit, nine becomes a ten, <laughs> that means we have to go back here, so we get a number here that would be 3.1416, right, because we have to round that. And that, that one's even. Okay, so no, 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 we just stop. We just produce this number. Okay, and we're going to call x this number. Now we're going to take a look at x minus pi. Okay, so what's this number minus pi? 3.1416 minus pi. Is that positive, negative, or is it zero? Well, the 5 minus the, the 6 would result in a negative. Why are you doing 5 minus 6? This digit minus this digit. Why are you doing that? We're going to have to subtract this number from all this. X yeah. minus pi. So 6, so this one minus that. It's this number minus pi. So is that going to be positive, negative, or 0? I think it'll be positive. Okay, because we round it up. So this, this, is, this is positive. This is numbers bigger than pi, right? Because we round it up. Now let's say let's say we had stopped at an odd digit here. So let's, let's say we went to the fifth digit instead, and so we just truncate. So we would have three point one four one five, and then we would just stop. And now we'll take this minus pi. Is that going to be positive, negative, or zero? Well, pi is going to have a little bit more after it. So. Okay. It's going to be negative. All right, so pi is now larger than this. Okay, so now we have an interesting situation. If the nth digit is odd, x minus pi is negative. negative. If the nth digit is even, x minus pi is positive. Positive. So we're going to make an, an interesting little number here. We're going to look at the 10 to the 100th digit, or the Google digit of pi. Okay, and I'm going to call this some funny number. I'll call it, I don't know, phi. So phi is, is, the, is this procedure minus pi. And here's the problem. We have no idea if the 10 to the 100th digit of pi is odd or even. Yeah. We don't know. And you know what's even scarier? What? There's no way to figure it out. Our computers have calculated like a couple billion digits of pi, but we don't know. Yeah. 
So what, do you, what can you tell me about this number? We apply this procedure to the, to the 10 to the 100th digit, and then we get a number. Is that number positive, negative, or zero? We don't know. We don't know. So there's sometimes you just don't know. Is a number positive, negative, or zero? Mm. And the interesting thing here is there's really no way we could ever figure this out. Computers will never have computers that are this powerful that can figure it out. There's not even this many atoms in the universe. That's bad. Mm. That's bad, so there's no way to, there's just no way to know. We, I don't think we could ever figure this out. Well, it's, it's not true. Maybe we could, but who knows? Kind of interesting, right? Yeah. So there's some numbers that we just don't know. Are they positive, negative, or zero? Pretty interesting, right? Yeah. Pretty interesting.